Now to a very exciting story, a new phage therapy trial may be the answer to fight against antibiotic resistant superbugs. Joining me live is the director of the Centre for Infectious Disease and Microbiology at the Westmead Institute for Medical Research, Professor Jonathan Idell. Professor, good morning. Good morning, Timmy. Thanks for having me on the program. Oh, great to have you. Great to have you on the program. Mm. And this is exciting. Can you tell us, first off, simplify what is phase therapy? Yeah. So if you can imagine that everything in nature has a predator, then the bacteria that cause us problems, cause infections, they've got their own predators. So if you know how to use them, you can you can attack them with the tools that nature controls to prevent bacteria taking over the planet, basically. So it's like giving all your infecting bacteria COVID and they all just um, they all just are killed by these little things we call bacteriophages or bacteria eaters. And they work with antibiotics. They're not affected by antibiotic resistance so that you can use them instead of antibiotics. And they're tricky to use, but if you use them properly, they're enormously powerful. We've had some fantastic successes. When penicillin came in, um, it was the ultimate super drug. It has been remarkable. Mm. Where yeah. are we, though, at looking at antibiotics and resistance to them? Yeah, that's a really good question. So because bacteria have been around since long before humans, they've pretty quickly learned how to adapt to things like antibiotics. And so the concern that we have is that transformative discovery by uh, the Englishman Fleming and the uh, the um, German gentleman Ernst Chaim and, of course, our Adelaide boy, Walter um, Howard Florey, has transformed medicine completely. But, of course... As these antibiotics become less effective, as antibacteria adapt to them, we're now facing a future in which we expect antibiotic-resistant infection to be the leading cause of death within a generation. The prediction is that this will cost us a $100 trillion hit to the economy. So we're really looking around for new solutions, and so we've turned to nature to look at the natural solutions, and this is the bacteria page. And, and can it solve that problem? Can it... Um solve it before it happens? Yeah, I think there's no doubt that properly harnessed, these bacteriophages are tremendously powerful. As I said, we've had some enormous successes. You need to learn how to use them. And of course, with our modern tools, you know, our computer systems and our understanding of the DNA behind all these things, we've really got a good grip on how they work and how best to use them. And we're now using them routinely. We're treating about two patients a month at the moment at Westmead. And we've treated about 40 people in all, I think, and had uh, tremendous successes. So we look forward to a future in which your doctor will be able to prescribe these things just like they prescribe an antibiotic. And the difference is these things don't care if it's antibiotic resistant. Which is which is great news. And look, mm. just, just quickly, COVID was a, you know, many people have forgotten COVID and QR codes yeah, and everything else that yeah. went with it. But there were pros and cons. Obviously, there was an awful side of, of people mm. falling ill and those passing away. But there were yep. positives to come out of that era. Were there many positives in the area of medical research for you? Yeah, I think the interesting thing, it's, it's interesting that you point that out. Um, one of the interesting things is that we as a population and also our government has recognised that sometimes you need to just act quickly. And I think we need to take our hats off to our government regulators and our health authorities for responding as impressively as they did in that period. And that gives us some optimism that, you know, these new kinds of therapies can be brought on board and made available to everyone much more quickly than perhaps they would have been in the past as, you know, the health authorities and regulators have learned how to do this sort of thing safely and effectively. Absolutely. Professor, congratulations mm. to you and your team and all the wonderful mm. work that you do. And thanks for coming on the program. Thanks so much for your time.